This is a quick video of a uh, Geiger counter prop that I made, or a detector, I guess is the official uh, name for this. This is a device I bought off of, I uh, can't remember what website, but you can find them on eBay and other places, and I think I paid about $20 for this, and this is an actual uh, 1960s era device it was last calibrated in january 1969 um, they don't work um, and typically will have some of the guts removed from them this one actually had all of the uh, insides to it but i removed it and uh, made it a prop for halloween and the way this works is uh, you can simply turn it on and you'll see the light, uh, which you can't really see here on the meter. But as I actually lift the Geiger counter up, you'll see that it actually acts like it is detecting radiation. And the way I used this was I would walk around a crowd of people and uh, hold the Geiger counter up to them and it would start buzzing and some people actually thought that uh, it was a real uh, Geiger counter. So uh, I'll open it up here and show you what I actually did. I actually added this sticker myself but everything else is the original 1960s Geiger counter with the exception of I took the detector plate out and put the speaker uh, under it. So that's really the only uh, major modification other than gutting it completely but let's open it up and take a look at it so this is the actual inside of the Geiger counter and as you can see I've removed all of the old working parts all that's really left is uh, the, the meter the analog meter that was there uh, you can actually see the uh, original wiring diagram still in the box but over here I put in a 5 ohm speaker that I had laying around and then everything is driven off of a, a Arduino Uno and it's got really two components here one is a uh, accelerometer, accelerometer gyro I think it's a I let go GY521 I'll put it in the the comments, but uh, that determines the angle uh, at which I'm holding uh, the Geiger counter and uh, as I move it up uh, into a 90 degree axis then uh, what I do is accelerate the uh, Geiger counter sign, uh, sound, the detection sound and um, so when I hold it down flat no sound when I move it up to 90 degrees like I'm scanning somebody then it's just a simple loop that uh, generates the sound and the higher the angle of attack so to speak the more sound it makes and then this is a uh, PAM8403 amplifier that actually uses uh, that I use to drive this 5 ohm speaker um, and I think you'll see in my other video that uh, the other amp that I was using just wasn't powerful enough. And then what I've got is um, that the uh, Uno actually drives this analog uh, meter. And all I do is simply up the voltage on it to make it look like that it's actually uh, registering. And then I've got two 9-volt batteries hooked into a kind of a crazy uh, switch mechanism I had, which is connected to the, the original switch, the all-phone circuit zero, etc. And one of the 9 volts goes to drive the Arduino Uno, and then the other provides power to the amplifier. Uh, Maybe didn't need, you know, both, but 
that's just the way I set it up. And then the way this switch works is, is when I uh, flip it, it simply depresses both of these switches and provides voltage to the Arduino and to the amplifier. So uh, overall, kind of a weird design, but it seems to work pretty good. And um, uh, I think it did a pretty good job of actually emulating uh, the detector sound and and uh, you know the motion and the way you use it and and so on. As I said, uh, when I was using it uh, during Halloween a couple of years ago, uh, a lot of people actually <laughs> thought that uh, I was actually scanning them. So it was a pretty good prop. So one more quick demonstration. Power it on, bring it to level, no sound, tilt it up towards 90 degrees and you can see we're detecting. So there it is. Um, paid about $20, $20-$25 for the old detector. Um, was in really good shape. I think it's kind of a crapshoot for what you'll actually get, but I was very fortunate that uh, this one turned out to be in good shape. And then the uh, detector plate, which is um, in the original model, you could actually pull it down to uh, let it detect and uh, I just it's bolted in now but uh, anyway very authentic looking and uh, I think it um, was pretty authentic in uh, action and sound and behavior so anyway hope you enjoyed it